Logos are all around the place. Take the drink Coca-Cola, and that's been with us before your grandparents were tiny. And the advertisements back in those days used the same swirly writing for the name Coca-Cola, the same writing that they use today. So that name, Coca-Cola, has become a logo. That's one logo that's easy to recognise. And of course, then there are logos on all of the service stations where you buy your petrol. Take this one, for example. It's been around for years. Shell. That's the way they used to write it, with a fairly realistic drawing of a shell. But these days, they've made the drawing much simpler, and they've left the words out completely. But you recognise the service station as being a shell station as soon as you see that logo. And this one, of course, is very common. You see it all around the world on clothing. What does it mean? What does it look like? Well, with a bit of imagination, you might say it does look a little bit like a ball of wool, doesn't it? With some imagination. And of course, that is the international symbol for woolen clothing or woolen fabric. And no matter what country, no matter what brand, if they're using wool to make the item of clothing, such as this cardigan, you'll see the label with that little symbol there and usually pure new wool written alongside it. So there's a logo that's easy to recognise. And here's a logo with a sense of humour. If you ever get a letter or a parcel by airmail from New Zealand, it'll have this sticker on it. What's that little swirly thing on the right? Well, it's a bird. What kind? A kiwi. The joke, of course, is that it's coming by airmail and the kiwi is a bird which can't fly. But it's a pretty logo and it's one that's easy to remember. Why don't you invent your own logo? You could start with your initials, your monogram. For example, let's say your initials were A, B, C. You could write it in a boring way, horizontally, such as this, or in a vertical way. Not very memorable, is it? But if you start doing things like linking the letters together, overlapping them, or let's say you're mad keen on tennis, why not turn the B into a tennis racket there? you're starting to form a monogram which is very memorable, so it becomes your own personal logo. You can write it on all your school books if you like. Or alternatively, you could say, now wait a minute, let's take those letters. What are they most like in geometric shapes? Well, the A is a little bit like a triangle, the B a bit like a square, and the C a circle. So you could say, well, there's a logo. Or if you want to make them a little less mysterious, take a notch out there, put a couple of little blobs there and take a little circle out there and now it is starting to look like A, B, C. Alternatively, maybe your name's Fred and you want to indicate to somebody that you're a fast runner. Why don't you write your name that way with a couple of legs and some air streaking out the back. What do you think Jill's interested in? What's her main passion in life? Right, from the way that she's written her name, you can guess that it's music. Well, those are just a few suggestions why don't you work out your own logo for your name? I want to know. Curiosity.